welcome to life on Beagle Road. Let's talk chicken coops in the sweltering heat. Beyonce is doing pretty well. She still has a bit of a limp in her left leg, but she's able to move around pretty well, all things considered. She is eating and drinking and um, yeah, definitely going in the right direction. So I feel good about it. She went on vacation with us and I don't know about you, but vacation always makes me feel better. Our previously unnamed rooster has been named Jay-Z. And as you can see, he's recovering quite well. <laughs> I will not be trying to catch Diego and hold him. And although he still has a bit of a limp, he seems to be recovering well. And the limp certainly isn't slowing him down from his flock protecting duties. It's so hot, I can't even think straight. We have been working on our new chicken coop and enlarged, expanded, huge chicken run. Well, as we started this huge expanded chicken run, I looked up and there were six dead trees around where we were about to build it. We just lost a huge tree in the same area that crushed our neighbor's fence. The wind is so strong and the ground is so wet, it's literally just blowing trees over. That tree was actually a living maple, which kind of stinks because it was a really nice tree. But as you can see, it's gone now. So it really made me stop and say, hmm, am I enclosing my chickens in here to protect them from predators only to have them crushed by trees? I think the answer was yes. We stopped and we took a walk around the property to look at other areas where we could build that would be fairly level, didn't have a lot of trees. Uh, a subscriber gave us a great tip that although we thought we were protecting the chickens by putting them under trees, we were actually putting out perches for wild birds and hawks and all that kind of good stuff, which was a great point. We came to the conclusion that we've got a level area here across from the driveway that would be perfect and there is only one dead tree to take down, which is a pretty good accomplishment considering how many trees we have right now that are at risk of falling. That said, Kenny and I can't take it down by ourselves, so we're kind of at a standstill on the project until next weekend. to distract myself from the barn disaster and not stress out that we haven't built this run yet. So we're off to our favorite used stuff place store, Restore. Ooh. We're going to Restore? We're going to Restore. I love that place. Anyway, we're going to our favorite place, Restore, to look for anything we can use in the chicken coop. And while we're gone, our friend, Alf will guard the chickens.
My glasses are steaming up. Oh my god, it's so hot. <laughs> okay. The reset, otherwise I can't cut it. It's the heat. So we came to not so. <clears throat> so 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 it so so so. Is that an appropriate time to say go so? 